What's going on everybody? Alex Timms here with the Contractor Growth Network and today I'm going to walk you through another video we just completed for our longest tenure client, Premier Ponds. Today I'm going to show you the video. It's about five minutes long. I'm going to show you how we use it, how we leverage it, and why it's beneficial for every contractor to be able to do video. And it's not even that hard. And when you watch this video, you'll find out. So before I get into the nuts and bolts of it, let's just watch the video and see what you guys think. I'm standing in a pond that has had a rough winter. It's been turned off, it collected a lot of leaves, a lot of muck, and it just needs a refresh for spring. This happens with about 250 ponds we take care of every spring. What we do is we actually get in it, like you see here, uh, my friend Alberto's in the bottom getting out all the muck that's gonna feed the algae. You can kind of see is forming on the rocks. We're pretty early in spring, so it hasn't taken off yet. We're gonna get this cleaned up, power washed down, back to square one so that this will be a really enjoyable water feature this spring and summer and even into the fall. All right, so this pond has been power washed out. The reason we do that is to get all the algae and muck buildup off the rocks. Now we're ready for the final stage of flushing. It's happening, we start at the top just like we do in power washing and we flush it all down. This is getting that last bit of muck and junk that we don't want to see in the pond, maybe stuff that's too small to pick up physically. We're getting it all down to the pump so it can either be pumped out or so that at the end we have a glob of it that we can just remove. So one thing we try to do on our ponds is save all the pond water, but then on top of that, in this tub right here, we call it the 1500 because that's how many gallons it holds, we put the garden hose in it right away. So we actually end up holding more water than we need. And what we're gonna do for this final flush on this pond is throw one of our sump pumps in here and actually blast it down. That's gonna be way more effective than the garden hose, take way less time and get the pond more clean. So check it out. So as you can see, TJ's actually using our big sump pump hose to flush out the stream. We're getting way more of the slop out from in between all the rocks with this force of water as opposed to a garden hose. So this is one of the benefits of saving a bunch of water in that 1500 gallon tub as we're cleaning the pond. He's making a lot of mess, a lot of noise, so I think I'm gonna get out of here. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We're finally putting water back in the pond. Uh, it's almost close to full. This pond is a little squirrely because the stream is really long, so we actually have to turn on the pond pump to fill the stream so that we can then top the pond off. Otherwise it would overflow and we wouldn't have the water we need for the stream. So that's what we're working on right now. And we're also working on setting the plants in the proper location in the pond. Uh, we are going to come back to repot these plants in this pond in a few weeks, get it all looking uh, its absolute best for summer. So uh, we will show you after shots of what the pond looks like when we're back for that. Hey, back out here in Bethesda, Maryland, it's a little wet today, that's why I'm in a poncho. We're here to do some upgrades to this pond, and one of the main ones is this stepper edge has not been very functional in recent years. Part of it is because this tree keeps growing out, part of it is because the roots keep pushing the steppers up, so we're here to re-level it, make it a nice smooth pathway around the tree branches on the edge of the pond, so it's like you're walking through a nature path, back up to those stairs you see in the distance. So we're basically starting right where the camera's set right now, all the way up to that first step. And we're gonna just reset these so it's a nice smooth pathway. Uh, this should be a really cool look when we're all done. It's not gonna be all jagged and all these little small rocks that could throw you off. None of that's gonna be there. You'll see, it's gonna be awesome. What's up everybody? We're here today dividing plants. And what that entails is when we have plants like this that are way overgrown and they've filled out their pot, we take out good chunks and we replant them so they can have new life. Now the steps for that, we go from the fertilizer in the bottom, and this is heat activated fertilizer, so once the sun starts to come out and the summertime hits, it'll dissolve and it'll really get all the nutrients going into the plant. Next is some nice, fine top soil and we take that healthy portion of the plant, different types of plants here, and we put it right here down in the middle. Next, we just pour some more dirt over top of it, 
and then put some big gravel in and this will stop the fish from getting all in the dirt and trying to muck it up and eat plant roots which big fish love to do. So this is the stages of our process here. Final product, they're gonna love it. So there you have it, a few short hours and we have a beautiful walking path. No longer are the roots pushing these rocks all over the place, they're perfectly stable. We foamed them in using our waterfall foam. It's not like concrete, but it makes them pretty solid. And this walkway is now ready for a lot of action. Before, the roots had just done numbers to it. it. It was in shambles, and it just didn't look the part. It didn't fit how nice the pond and this whole area was. Now it does. So we're pretty happy with it. The homeowner's pretty happy with it. And this is gonna serve them for many years to come. So there you have it, guys. Five and a half minutes, five minutes worth of video. It's all it takes. And these guys knocked it out of the park. It's one of my favorite videos I've done for Vermeer Ponds. I love how Andrew is in the pond. He gets into the character and he just explains the entire process from start to finish. A couple things to point out. I love how Andrew is just constantly engaged in this pond. He's in the pond. He's talking to Alberto. He's got the tub. He takes every aspect of the job that he's honestly, he's overseeing all this. So he's checking on the tub. He is in the pond, scraping out the muck. So he's just like, you know what? Let me just explain this on camera. It took no time. You could see in the background, TJ, Alberto, Nilo, all the guys, they were there actually working. So there was no, let's stop. I have to shoot a video. Everybody be quiet. Continue your work and I'll just talk as you're going. It really takes no more time than just cleaning the pond. It just takes practice and repetition. And they're one of the best in the business at doing that. This is one of my favorite videos I've done for Premier Ponds because we were able to put it on a lot of different platforms. It's pretty easy, guys. There's nothing really scientific about it. We're putting this on YouTube. It's out on YouTube right now, so go to youtube.com slash Premier Ponds and you can watch it. We've also put it on social media. Their social media, our social media at the Contractor Growth Network. Um, basically just to showcase, hey, this it's that easy. They shot this on an iPhone or on a GoPro. Um, listen, the iPhone 11, iPhone 12, they have even better cameras than the one I'm shooting on right now. Premier Ponds also will use this as an ad. An ad video for spring pond maintenance would be this specific video. In the fall, there's a couple extra steps so it gets winterized, but it works for both seasons to get the gist of it. And they can use this and say, hey, this is the process, it's simple and easy, and they leverage it in these type of ways. One five and a half minute video can be used for ads for an entire season. It's on YouTube forever, and it's on your social media forever. And in two years, if you hate it, you change your process up, you can always delete it from YouTube and social media and turn off the ads. It's that simple. But these five and a half minutes of your time can make you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So how does Premier Ponds and us at the Contractor Growth Network help leverage this video into actual dollars and cents? Well, first you gotta understand why we wanna make this video in the first place. You see, pond maintenance is how they make that recurring revenue. Yeah, you wanna build ponds and you wanna you know, transform backyards from just a grassy plain to a beautiful streaming waterfalls, but when they have the waterfalls, you gotta clean them, you gotta maintain them. And a lot of clients know that, but don't know how much of actual hard sweat, blood, and tears go in to cleaning the pond. And this video, in the beginning, that pond was dirty. That was dirty as I would not want to get in there and clean it. All the algae, all the fish poop, yeah, not a good time. The amount of power washing you have to do, it's tedious, it takes some time, and especially if you don't have the right equipment and you don't know what you're doing, it can be hard. If you don't wanna spend the money to go clean your pond, at least they're giving you the process of how you should be able to do it. Plus, one of the biggest objections they get is how the dirty pond is such an eyesore. How, you know, a year of using it, you know, and the whole summer of enjoying it, by the end, they're just like, man, this thing is mucky, it is messy, I don't wanna get in there and clean it, I don't wanna ruin shoes and boots. So they just end up calling Premier Ponds anyway. And then you get this beautiful masterpiece. And look how good the pond looks after. And finally, the last thing I got for you guys is how beneficial is actually this video. Well, I already told you where you can use it and all these different platforms you can use it for. I told you why clients will, are gonna wanna call you to clean the pond. But how about if you're a painter or a remodeler or a home builder? Can you apply these same tips and these same criteria to your work? Of course you can. We found that clients that have been all in on video and have done videos like this and have done project profiles and have process videos about how they actually go about things, they have brought in double the business than they had when they didn't do video. 
It's like changing times. When the Yellow Pages was popular 25,000 years ago and you didn't advertise in it, you lost out on some business. That's what video is right now in 2020 and going into 2021. Even in a pandemic, people wanna watch this content. We get a ton of views on videos like this just from people that like to hear the sound of ponds and they love to see that the visual transformation that a dirty pond to a clean pond can get. If you're a painter, that ugly green to a nice clean beige, or if you're a home builder, this, these modern cabinets, these modern molding, this, all this modern technology going into an old prehistoric home. If you're restoring stuff, no matter what contracting industry you're in, video can help you. You just gotta be a little bit creative and find out ways and get comfortable. That's what we preach here at the Contractor Growth Network. Get comfortable and do all these things. And I guarantee you clients will be calling you for the service because you are comfortable enough to show them how to do it and show them, hey, that's why I'm a professional and you're an amateur. Thanks guys, if you have any questions or if you wanna learn and watch more videos like this, go to contractorgrowthnetwork.com or find us on YouTube at the Contractor Growth Network. Thanks guys.